Many of you have asked about the old technique that we had for assembling the bearings in the cluster gear for the T90 transmission. So I put together a or we're putting together a quick uh, tutorial on how to use that technique. First off, you're going to need a shaft that fits through the forward hole of your T90 transmission for the cluster gear. And I believe it's three quarters of an inch. The, all the size measurements for these tools are in the T90 rebuild guide that's on the internet. So you can go and get those measurements from there. Uh, you're going to need a wooden dowel rod. You're going to need these three pieces of conduit. It's just uh, all the specifications there for the length of them is there. And to show you how easy it is, I'm going to have my granddaughter assemble this thing. So we are ready to get started. Uh, you're going to need those parts. You're going to need your four piles of needle bearings and you're going to need your spacer washers and two pieces of cardboard. You can get by with one piece of cardboard, but I prefer two. All right, here we go. In addition to the other parts that you need, you also need the uh, spacer for the cluster gear. Okay, Kaylin, stand up the cluster gear and put it on a piece of cardboard. Okay, insert your wooden dowel rod. Insert your longest spacer. Insert your spacer, one washer, okay, now you're going to put in assembly lube around that hole, put a nice big gob in there, lots of it, a whole lot of it, get a whole big finger full of it and put it in there. Okay, now insert your first set of needle bearings. Those are right there. Do I drop yep, them? Just sit, stand them in there. You have to stand them in. There you go. Now don't drop them all over the place. Pick them up one at a time put them in. Stand them up just like that. Okay, looks like you got a gap, so we're missing one. You drop, there it is. And want to go in? Mm -mm. Yeah, let's wiggle them around a little bit. Now try to put it in. There you go. See how I did that? Just wiggle around a little bit. Okay, now. You're going to put this hand over top of this end, okay, and you're going to pick up the piece of cardboard, keep your hand over the top of it, okay, and then lay it on its side. All right, now you're going to push, no, leave that off there for a moment. You're going to push those out, push them that way a little bit, just enough to grab hold of that sleeve that's sticking out. Hang on, let me show them where the sleeve is. Okay, and grab hold of the sleeve and pull the sleeve out. Okay, good. Lay it down. You're done with that one. Lay it over there out of the way. All right, take the next piece and slide it in there. Keep your finger on the pole, on the rod on that side. There you go. Slide it in. There you go. So it's all the way in. There you go. Now put your cardboard on there and I'll give you a hand because that cluster gear is heavy. All right, now. Install another washer. There you go. More grease. And install your next set of bearings. By the way, there's 22 needle bearings in each set. Okay, all in. Okay. 
Okay, you got it that far. Um, time to lay it back down. You don't forget the cardboard. Yeah, see how that sleeve's trying to slide out on you? Okay, turn it this way so they can see it. There you go. All right, now it's time to slide in the small sleeve. Careful, watch, it. watch that in. you got to push in on the center. There you go. Good. Now take the, the long sleeve out on the other end. There you go. All right, put your cardboard back on this end now. And stand it up. There you go. All right, slide that. It's good. That's a good position. Okay, now what do you need to put in? I need to put in some lube. Uh, before the lube. Um, the... The washer. There you go. Okay, put the washer in. Where's your gloves? Okay, lube it up good. All right, and put in your bearings. I see you only want to wear a glowing glove. Okay, go for it. I can't want to wear any of this. Okay, now what do you do? We put this. Lay it back down. There you go. Then we. Now this one you're going to need to use the, one of those to help push the other one out, right? Mm. Just a little bit. Push in on the center. Nope. Oh yeah. Do you know what you were doing wrong? I didn't have the... Your bearings are here. You need to push this that way, through the other way and take the short one out of the other end. No, it's fine. You can, yeah, okay. You didn't stand it up on the cardboard. Hopefully it'll hold together. Uh-oh, that's why you use the cardboard. What are you doing? You're pushing that one out? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so which end are you going to stand on now? I'm going to stand on the short end. Oh, uh, the, the skinny end, right? Yes. You need a hand standing it up? Yes. All right. Here we go. Stand it back up. There we go. All right, what do you need? Um, washer. Okay. And lots of assembly lube. Mm-hmm. Now, what do you need to do? We need to lay it down. Nope. There you go. Put one washer on that end. And one washer. One washer on the other. Wait, wait a minute, how come you got an extra? Okay. Now you've done it. Yep, you got a hole. I got a hole. You got a hole. All right. You have to make sure all of the needle bearings go in. All right? Then now what do you do? We flip it like this. Okay. Go ahead and get rid of your cardboard. And we you got, there you go. One washer left to put on the other end. Mm -hmm. Now you have a completed cluster gear ready to go in. This is 
the original technique that I had developed back in 2001, I think it was, for uh, installing the bearings in the cluster gear. The new method uses rubber bands and not any of these extra tools. So you choose to which one you want to use. Either one can pretty much be able to put, be put together with the instructions of a nine-year-old. All right? Thanks.